Welcome to Silent Sunday Nights here on Turner Classic Movies. I'm Jacqueline Stewart, coming to you from the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures in Los Angeles. Tonight, we're headed to Sweden for a landmark silent film from 1921, released in the U.S. the following year. Directed by and starring Victor Sjöström, it's The Phantom Carriage. The story begins on New Year's Eve as a reckless scoundrel entertains his drinking buddies with a frightening legend. According to the tale, the last person to die on New Year's Eve has to spend the next year driving a carriage through town, collecting the souls of those who have departed. But just as he finishes telling the story, the old year winds to a close, and he finds himself living out the horror he's described, and forced to confront how his wicked behavior has ruined the lives of the people he loves. The Phantom Carriage was made in 1921, at a time when Sweden's film industry was booming, thanks to Sjöström and his friend, Moritz Stiller, both pioneering Swedish directors. Stiller is best remembered as the man who discovered Greta Garbo and mentored her at the start of her career. And he was also an important early mentor for Victor Sjöström. Sjöström got his acting start in Stiller's productions and went on to become a prolific director in his own right. Between 1912 and 1918, he completed nearly 30 films. And in 1921, he scored his biggest hit with The Phantom Carriage. In this film, Sjöström experimented with innovative cinematic techniques, including double exposures. As you'll see, he used this technique to layer images on screen and distinguish between the living characters and the transparent ghostly figures. The film was a tremendous success when it premiered, but Victor Sjöström, Stiller, and Garbo soon left Sweden behind at the invitation of Louis B. Mayer and moved to Hollywood to establish himself at MGM. From 1921, starring Victor Sjöström, alongside Hilda Borgström and Tora Svenberg, here is The Phantom Carriage. Victor Sjöström, who directed and starred in The Phantom Carriage, left Sweden for Hollywood in 1923. He changed his last name to the more Americanized Seastrom and built a successful career at MGM. As Victor Seastrom, he directed nine feature films in Hollywood, including two starring Lillian Gish, The Scarlet Letter in 1926 and The Wind in 1928, and the Lon Chaney drama He Who Gets Slapped. But rather than attempt to modify his methods when the silent era gave way to sound, Sjöström chose instead to return to Sweden and focus on working in theater. Three decades later, at the age of 78, he rose to international fame as an actor with his starring performance in the Ingmar Bergman drama Wild Strawberries in 1957. Bergman chose to cast Sjöström in the role not just because he was a renowned older actor, but also because, as a director, he had been a major influence on Bergman's career. Bergman said that he watched The Phantom Carriage every year of his life for decades, beginning when he was just 15 years old. He referred to the film as one of the major emotional and artistic experiences of my life. Coming up, it's time for TCM Imports, hosted by Alicia Malone. And I'll be back next week when Silent Sunday Nights returns. I'm Jacqueline Stewart. Thanks for watching.